welcome to another thought of the day. I thought I'd call this thought of the day, there's no such thing as normal. So what do I mean by this? Well, what I mean by this is there is no such thing as a normal person. We're all different. We're all, we're not carbon copies of one another. It's not always what people think a human being might be. Maybe people would think that a human being um, would have their own thoughts of what a human being should be like. Maybe you have a theory of how all humans should behave and conduct themselves. The problem is there, as I said, we are all different. That's why the way God made us. The other thing is, we have been given free will. We're all not a bunch of robots. Um, none of us have been given a program installed into us. We're all different. Some of us are very caring. Some of us have a heart of gold, if you know what I mean. Some of us are very loving. Some of us are very emotional. Some of us are very clever and some of us aren't. I could go on, but you get the picture. We are all very different, but God loves each and every one of us exactly the same. I can't believe it was about a year ago now that we started a Kintsugi Hope group online. Kintsugi Hope is a Christian um, health and well-being charity. The name of Kintsugi comes from the Japanese art of repairing broken pottery and repairing the, the area of breakage with adhesive mixed with powdered gold. We all know that nobody is perfect because we all have our faults. So the analogy of repairing broken pottery with gold so that the cracks can be seen is a brilliant analogy that can be applied to each and every one of us. This picture of a broken pottery bowl that has been put together or put back together with all the cracks or all its cracks highlighted for everyone to see enables us to see and embrace the beauty of all our human flaws. So you see, there is no such thing as a normal person. Today I want to apply this theory to our lives. For instance, what does a perfect life look like? What does a perfect job look like? What does a perfect relationship look like? Or what does a perfect Christian look like? There is no such thing as a perfect life. A perfect job or a perfect relationship. A Christ, as Christians, we have a relationship with Jesus. Is this relationship always perfect? No, of course it's not. We all have our ups and our downs in our Christian walk. Now that is perfect. Or I should say that is normal because we're all up and down all the time in our Christian walk. None of, not one of us has a perfect Christian walk. I'm a Christian and I've been a Christian for a very long time. Do I live a perfect, holy Christian life? Well, I'd like to say that I do. But in reality, I'm afraid I fail miserably most of the time like so many of us. Jesus is the only one who walked this earth who was perfect in every way that we can possibly imagine. That is why Jesus came to save us, because we needed help. Romans 3.23 in the Bible says this, For all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. Wouldn't it be a wonderful world if everything or everyone was perfect? 
In my opinion, that's impossible. All human beings, none of us, are perfect. All human beings suffer from doing things wrong, getting things wrong, messing up. Now that all started right at the very beginning of the Bible in Genesis. We read about the first humans. Their names are Adam and Eve. They had everything and they lived in a perfect world. Adam even walked in the cool of the evening having a good old chat with God. But the problem was they were just not satisfied and they messed up and the rest is history. That's why we need Jesus. Jesus is the answer. Jesus has paid the price for all of our wrongdoing. Jesus says in Matthew 11, 28 and 30, in the New King James Version, Come to me, all you who labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. We are not meant to carry a heavy burden. In another translation, Jesus says, Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me, and I'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. And in this paraphrased Bible, Jesus continues by saying, I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll learn to live freely and lightly. That's from the message. The honest truth is, none of us are perfect. In his love for us, God gave us free will. So we are bound to mess up from time to time. We may not be perfect, but what I do know is we have a perfect God who loves us so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, to pay for all of our mess ups. In fact, Jesus took our place and died for all of our mess ups and all of our mistakes. It always amazes me how God continually pours out his grace on each one of us, even though we continue to mess up from time to time. That is why I am truly astonished by the love that God has for each one of us and the grace that God continues to pour out on all of us in more ways than we can possibly imagine even when we truly mess up, such is the love God has for each one of us. We have a loving God who is abounding in forgiveness and grace. So you see, there is no such thing as normal. We all mess up occasionally. In my opinion, the answer is Jesus. If only the world could see it. In John 14, 6, from the NIV version, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Well, that's my thought for today. Thanks for listening. Bye for now. God bless. Till next time.